So the Triplicity Lords of the Sect Light, like I said, I have another video on it, but I have some more things to say here that are going to maybe add to this. They generally indicate the amount of esteem and influence the native will have, whereas the last two lords mainly depend on the native as a singular and what they do. This group of planets will determine how their community regards them, for, for that be better or for ill. Because especially if you think about it, like you get a lot of people's wealth and kind of well-being comes from the kind of recognition they get, whether that's at work, whether it's because they're famous. It's whatever they do in the world gets recognized somehow. That nature of the recognition and the amount of recognition are governed by these these three planets. And the first and second Triplicity Lords govern the, the, the early and later periods of life, respectively. And so there's a changeover period, and there's there's a timing to that. And it usually has to do with the ascensional time of the sign of that Lord, which depends on the latitude and the location of the chart or the native at the time of birth but it also has to do with the, the sort of lesser years of that planet. And it's not real certain as to which one it is, but it's it's generally one of those two where the, the changeover point happens. And the third lord is, is generally thought to support the other two lords. You know, so if it's in good shape, it'll help them out, but if it's not in good shape, it really won't help, or it'll maybe even hinder them if it's malefic, depending on if it's aspecting or not. And of course, if these planets aspect each other, that helps tremendously, because they can talk to each other, they can reconcile problems, they can give the native more opportunities to succeed. And of course, the more angular, the better, as with most of these things. The angular houses are generally more powerful, and they put the native at the center of a hub of, like, attention. So it's almost like the world sort of revolves around them, in a way. And so it's very easy for them to get opportunities compared to maybe succident or cadent houses. Now, succident houses are middling, and so if the native goes and does something in the world, they'll get support for it as they continue to do it. And they'll get recogni like proportional recognition as they do so. But if their triplicity lords are cadent, that's not good because basically they're they will not be recognized for what they do basically or if if like for instance the first triplicity lord is in good shape and the second one is in bad shape and the second one's cadent well they will sort of have this this fall in recognition they won't stand out anymore for whatever reason maybe they'll fall out maybe they'll people will get bored of them maybe they'll be disowned in some way by the public and of course, the sign rulerships show how brilliant and eminent they are, because if, this, if the planet's in its rulership, it's going to be a better quality than if it's in a sign where it's not as comfortable. The Traversity Lord in its own rulership is kind of like a person who's amongst its own allies and people who will follow and obey him. So even if he's in a foreign country, but it's, if you go to a foreign country, but your you know, Instagram followers or your your YouTube people freaking follow you everywhere and help you out and give you places to, to stay for the night... Well, then that massively helps you in your journey. Whereas if you're in a foreign country and you're not really welcome there and you're considered an enemy, well, you're definitely not going to get help and it's going to be, you're going to have a real hard time. So witnessing by benefics, of course, helps the native to achieve wealth and distinction better and that helps them overcome problems they may have in their life journey and they'll find solutions to problems easier. But if it's witnessed by malefics, any of these triplicity lords or especially that the one in sort of in use at the time, there will be obstacles, reductions, uh, you know, all bad things basically. It'll make them. It'll make it harder for them to get recognition. And malefics making good aspects can actually still be good. Like if Saturn's trining one of these lords or whatever, it can actually help. But it's going to be in a sort of uh, more muted way. Badly situated benefic not going to do any harm but it's only it's going to limit the amount of good that it can do and a well situated dispositor can actually offset a poorly placed triplicity lord so if you got one that's maybe sucked in or cadent or you know is not in its own sign well if it's well situated like if the, if the dispositor is in really good shape and it's aspecting it well it can offset some of the problems that even if you know the native doesn't get recognized that much maybe their work is going to be very niche and very good and so it'll be recognized by a certain few people or something or maybe it'll take them a lot longer to achieve what they want in life but once they do it'll it'll everything will kind of work out and uh, of course if, if the planets if one of the planets is under the beams that's gonna hurt it it's gonna decrease the stability of the good so good things might happen but they may not maintain and it's going to be harder to kind of up their game so it's going to be harder for them to sort of climb that ladder 
And sometimes you'll get situations where, especially with Mercury, where if he's under the beams and he's one of the triplicity lords, you'll get the situation where somebody, even if he's angular, he'll be, you know, more knowledgeable than 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 people will realize. So, you know, the person might be really smart, really well trained in some place, but they won't really be recognized for it. They'll be always sort of, you know, wanting that recognition, but hardly ever, you know, maybe using 10% of their, their ability. So I've already kind of done this in a different video, but I'm going to redo it anyway. So the triplicity lords of the sect light in Robert Downey Jr.'s chart are going to be the tripl fire triplicity because he has the the sect light is the sun because that's a day chart and the first triplicity lords the sun the second is jupiter and the third cooperating ruler is going to be saturn so saturn's sort of in uh, like a middling condition not that good not that bad whatever the sun zodiacally in really good shape but cadent but then jupiter is angular now if you remember he didn't really get famous until he got older. I haven't looked at the exact ascensional time periods, but it just sort of generally line up. I might actually be able to do that here. Oh, there's a table of times in here. Where was he? 40 degrees north. Yeah, the ascensional time of Aries at that time is like 18 something, which correspond about 18 years. He was much older than that when he got famous, but whatever. Look at Katy Perry's chart. So the Triplicity Lords of her sect light, she, she has a day chart. The sun's just above the ascendant, or yeah, just above the horizon. Um, actually, it's got a fair, fair bit of margin there. So then the day Triplicity Lord, the first day Triplicity Lord of the water signs are, is, is Venus, Mars is the second one, and then the third one's the moon. Moon's not in very good shape, even though she is angular. Venus seems to be uh, just about even Stephen. Not really good, not really bad, although the south node is awfully close by. Well, different sign. Venus in Sagittarius, and of course, Jupiter is in Capricorn. Maybe not a very happy Venus, even though she is angular. The ninth ruler is, of course, Mars, cadent, but also exalted, and aspecting the ascendant. So, sort of, maybe not necessarily that much better acclaim, but, well, better quality acclaim. I think, I think people respect her more after she got famous than before, would be my guess.